Hello everyone, Dean on the Street, host of the Dean Blackman Show. I'm here with Peter Shear, owner founder of Pilot Life Films. And uh, we're here in Huntington, Long Island, New York, and we're uh, right here in the studio. And we're here to talk about today a very exciting project. First, I want to say, Peter, thank you for uh, to making time to be on the show, okay? Peter, filmmaker, producer, very passionate, about an amazing project that's getting ready to be re released. It's a documentary called Broken Lines, and it's going to be released right here on Long Island at a place I've been to recently, a remarkable place called the Cinema Art Center in Huntington. I've got to ask you, Peter, why this subject, why Broken Lines, uh, how did it all come about, and share it with, uh, with my audience. Well, I met a young man about seven years ago who had been in a serious car accident. And I, was, I found his story quite remarkable because uh, as a young child he had Tourette's, he had anxiety disorder, and he self-medicated, uh, got into addictive substances, and which led eventually to uh, a number of situations where he was having a lot of problems with his family and other people, um, ended up going and getting into sobriety, getting into a rehab for a period of time. And, he changed at that point to say, I'm not doing drugs anymore, but then he got into his car and his car became the next addiction of speed. Uh, as, as a result of that, he crashed into a telephone pole almost at 100 miles an hour, had a severe traumatic brain injury. Uh, and a lot of people don't recover very easily or gracefully out of a, a TBI. Uh, but what happened to him was kind of a miracle. He recovered, uh, he progressed, got healthier. Um, and ended up changing his life, at which the TBI seemed to be the mechanism that changed his life. And I found this story so fascinating, particularly now, from the time that he was uh, having all these problems, ended up having this accident, which transitioned him into a, a better life. He's now graduating, uh, actually just graduated with a master's degree in social work. Wow, that's, and that's that's the terrific. fascination part of it because I call it the devil going from devil to angel story, and uh, documentaries to me are a very powerful tool to really convey imp information about subjects that maybe people don't normally see. Um, I'm fascinated by the art form. I really think this is the kind of story people should hear, particularly with addiction today. Although his addiction was very different than maybe what the trend of addiction is today. Uh, I think the story in and of itself is a very hopeful story, and that's to me is what's most important, where too many stories unfortunately have sad endings. Uh, this one has a miraculous ending, and that's why I thought it was important to make the film. It took about five and a half years of uh, photographing him along the way as he progressed, and that's what I think people will take an interest in, I hope. Wow, it's a great story. Um, so the, the message, I mean, obviously the age of this young man and millennials out there and you've got uh, a story here uh, about uh, illness uh, um, catastrophic event the car and the, accident and, and the challenges the, the and, challenges the, and, the, and the challenges here it's just uh, the experience um, uh, learning uh, there's so much to give mm -hmm. out of your this uh, true life experience in this documentary uh, what is what is the what is the message that uh, that uh, you're, you're you're sending now to all the millennials out there, uh, the parents? Is uh, the big message that uh, that could be I that really, could come about all this? What I really think is happening is the background of the personality and the child, the genetics, the codependency issues that are with children, that uh, aren't necessarily recognized right away. There's a lot more science behind this today about the nature of addiction and as as a disease. And I think that's a key factor here. Uh, it's not like, you know, the old slogan of don't do drugs. I think that's an ineffective campaign. I really think more people are informed about the nature surrounding addiction and the types of addiction and the uh, precursors for addiction uh, is what's valuable. As, as a matter of fact, at the Cinema Arts event, there will be an addiction specialist, uh, Anthony Rizzuto, will be there who runs an organization, nonprofit that helps families with those people who are and require treatment or are dealing with this issue. So I think it's more of a question of people being informed, educated, and involved in what is going on in their community and in schools and the nature of what addiction is all about. Wow. 
which is a big problem today, that challenge. But uh, what's so great about this young man is the positiveness that's Absolutely. that's come about this that people are gonna it's about people are gonna people are gonna really hear you've gotta you've gotta see this documentary. It's about it's, hopefulness uh, is more importantly to me the right. me the message in this story. Wow. So listen I wanna thank you Thanks uh, for being here. I wanna thank you very much for making time with me today. Absolutely okay. CEO and founder of Pilot Light Films. Peter Shear it's got an incredible documentary getting ready to break any day now at the Cinema Arts Center in Huntington. It's called Broken Lines. August eighth, seven thirty p.m. Great true story, and you're not gonna, you don't want to miss it. It's it's incredible. So, Peter, thanks for being on the show. Glad to be here, Dean on the street. We'll see you all very soon. Bye bye now.